All right, welcome back. Um, reason I sound weird right now is because if you are not just now joining me, I, uh, I'm glad. If you are just now joining me, it's because I lost a little bit, bit of video, and I don't know how. But, okay, we're here. We're going to go talk to Null. I probably should have just said welcome back to No Man's Sky Permadeath. This is your host, Fire Night 13. Um, but I'm confused at the moment. So we're just going to move on. <laughs> and if this is just now how you're catching up, literally the only thing that I did was the intro the first time. And, uh, and got in the ship and left. Well, I did some sorting. I sorted out all my stuff, but, but I'm going to probably edit that out anyway. But here, or I would, I, I wish I would have, <laughs> because it was just me sorting the stuff that I had. But here we go. Here's Null. Let's see, what are you going to say, Null? Two souls. One who cared too much and one who cared too little. Their lives have not become what was promised, have they? Every sentient being that has ever lived has felt that way at some point. I know I did once upon a time. I was angry, confused at my own solitude. Imagine my surprise when you awoke me. Oh, I know you didn't mean to. I know you were just playing around with portals. But whatever you did, I am here now, and I need your help. The Atlas. It is not what you think it is. Something is happening to the universe. Something I, I need your help to figure out. I'm just going to accept it. There is an observatory nearby. It will lead you to the location of a crashed freighter. Of great interest to our investigation. There. There we will find the first secret. I'm sure of it. Know that the Atlas is neither enemy nor friend to us. No more than the air or wind might be called such names. But it is terrified. It is in pain. And we have a responsibility to help its suffering, no matter the cost. Okay. The Atlas is suffering. So we gotta go find an observatory. What is that? Is he landing on my ship? Oh, that is just a ship. Raider decided to land over here. I'm gonna talk to him. Ah, friend. Trade? Uh. How much is this big freighter of yours? It's a B class. Nah. Uh, let's look at the price, though. I'm curious. Wow. I mean, I didn't think I didn't think I had enough. I was just curious as to where. All right, let's see what you have to trade here, sir. Oh, you're carrying some naughty stuff. Let's see here. Launch thruster modules, mining beam modules, scanner modules, life support modules, hazardous protection modules, movement. Module. Try that. What else they got? Shield, hyperdrive, pulse engine, and starship. We're going to shoot for the old uh, movement module just to see what happens. What is it now? Jetpack tanks, 22, 122, sprint recovery, 57, fuel efficiency, 16, and initial boost power, 14. That's not too bad, is it? Let me look and see what the S class was. I mean, the jetpack is better, but the initial boost is better. I think that I think it said the fuel efficiency was better too. Sprint recovery is much. No, fuel efficiency is not. Sprint recovery is better. Yeah, because it's at 57. Okay, well we'll take it. I need I need it anyway. 
Uh, I just need some more modules. Movement modules are the way to go. Okay, where'd my ship go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Visit Null's chosen observatory. Did I just lay in there? No, that was the one. Where's the one that he wants me? There it is. Okay. How far is it? Okay, it's not that far. Why is it not loading in? Load in, dadgummit. circle back. Whoa. Approximate. Oh, approximate location. Yay, I get to scan for it. These are my least favorite parts of this game. Alright, so let's just land. You watch, it'll be the one I literally just came from. No, it's over there. 420 something that way. And that is. What? Wait, first of all, none of these are observatories. Oh, wait, that is. I thought it was, uh. Was a um, manufacturing facility. My bad. This is an observatory. I see the big giant satellite dish. Let's see what Hireling Yik has to say. Trader looks weak, but ha but they have a cunning air about them. They spin a data pad towards me, and I see that they are selling multi-tool components. The prices, however, are Iowa. Friend, the sales gig, you, a, for, they eye me with wiry interest, waiting to see if I'll bite. Less than 5,000. Oh, I'll try that. Trader looks greatly offended. They supply me with an upgrade module at my request, but do so with a bitter, angry look on their face. As I take the module, the life form releases an acrid ash and stench that claws painfully at my throat. Oh, and I lost standing with it. Oh, well, but I got a bolt caster. Okay. Uh, Noel's prediction was correct. The terminal is curiously open. The log's ready for me to read. The observatory appears to have functioned as a salvage station manned by a GAC specialist, a translator, they were accused of questioning things that should not be questioned, of sowing the seeds of dissent. This posting was meant as a punishment. But it appears that the posting was the making of them. They found strange things in the wrecks, aberrations, data that spoke of worlds that do not exist and events that did not happen. That get went out to investigate one such craft, the life signature of a Corvax still on board. They never returned. This is how Nada and Polo met. This is how my friends found each other. There is a signal on the console, a warning on repeat. 16 short bursts of data in a loop. Extract the coordinates. I extract coordinates for a distress signal. A crash vessel awaits me on another world. All right, let's go to the freighter crash site. Oh, kind of having a uh, flashback there. Alrighty. Time to go check it out. Oh, I landed. Hit the wrong button. Not enough fuel. 
Okay, let's try that again. All right, get your fingers on the right buttons this time. All right, we're headed to the crash site. Take a few minutes. Won't take very long. And we'll see what this is all about. Coming in hot. Freighter's here. Wait. What is... Is there two freighters? I'm going to wait and see if another one loads in over here. If not, this is the freighter. Yeah, this is the freighter. I'm not going over there. I'm going to land here. Make sure that the, the icon isn't still up. Because I've had them glitch before where I didn't land in the place it wanted me to and scan for it. Um, but anyway, alright. Crew manifest missing. Limited data available. need the encryption key. Uh, search the site for secured containers for the encryption key. All right. All right, so we're gonna go in here. Let's go up here first. Because it doesn't really help. ferrite dust. Alright, since I need ferrite dust for one, that means I'm probably going to need ferrite dust for all. Um, Fifteen. I can open one. Let's let's go over here, away from the sentinels, and see if I can find another one. Another rock or two. Oh, yeah. You ever notice how you can still hear engine noises for these freighters? But. I mean, there's no real... Uh-oh. You don't need me. You don't want me. Okay. I've often wondered, what... What are the these uh, random pilots doing that just go around flying in formation like that? Are they just practicing maneuvers? Are they something that should be... Well, 
let's go in here and see if we can't repair the. Whoop, wrong way. It's this one anyway. I think I'll stay in here and let my my uh, jetpack recharge a bit. Because if I when this goes toxic or radiated or whatever it does to try to kill me after I open the cargo pod, I really want to be able to um, get out quickly. Okay. Yeah, radiation. Oh, I needed one more. I didn't look to see how many more I had. That was a mistake. I need one more. Alright. That's what I get for making all those batteries. You know? Because now I'm sitting here trying to find uh, enough right to do what I need to do to get into the cargo containers. Uh oh, he came back. What's that one? That looks like fair right. I'll take it. This is what I was trying to do in the back until I saw that sentinel back there. Just walk up up here. Let's see if I can see the rocks. Because when they're a distance, you can see them easier than you can when you're right up on them. Uh oh, watch out, bug. What are you doing? Crazy beetle. Be enough to get me in like at least one or two more. Uh oh. Ran out of jetpack fuel. That's the worst thing is the recharge rate of this jetpack. I need to really work on getting some modules that'll fix that. I still haven't found any of the... Wait a minute, did I get one? I did get it. <laughs> I got three of them. I got one for each one. I didn't pay any attention to what I was getting, I guess. I expected it to say, okay, you know, I it did. <laughs> I was too busy paying attention to the radiation. That's my problem. All right. Three manifest missing data. Okay. I do not know who will read this message. I do not know if anything will survive, but I must die as I lived. I will record it all, even in the face to, of oblivion. The swarm came to every world. The drones acted erratically, not attacking, just watching. Time passed and the sentinels did not seem so much of a threat anymore. They were peaceful now, we thought. We had been forgiven. We th oh, we thought. They were peaceful now, we thought. We had been forgiven. We were wrong.
they struck as one and attack somehow un, uh, excuse me somehow coordinated across unfathomable distances with a fury exceeding all prior skirmishes the sentinels annihilated all biological life within the universe in a span of 54.2 standard minutes I only rem only I remained the Korvax stood with me in the end and to, to their credit they concealed me within their flotilla as they headed toward the center oh I need another one do I even have enough uh fair right yeah I do okay uh let's see let's go to this one I could go back to the one I just started digging one over here somewhere coming now. The screams of my friends resonate in every hall, every corner. The sentinels have found me. I told Nada to leave. I told them what we already know. All of us. We are not even, We are not alone. Even if I die, Nada will find me again in another universe. Ten, just like me. A thousand, a million. We are not alone, for every soul is many. Even in the face of sixteen, we must declare that we lived. We existed. No matter the horror of the end, they are at my door. I error. Unexpected log termination. Hmm. You notice there's a uh, destroyed sentinel there. What well, looks like one. It's a. Oh, wait. No, that's not a sentinel. That's one of the uh, observer bots that we use. But it's it's got a red eye. The sentinels watching. Transmit the freighter's logs to null. You see to locate a holo terminal. Alright, we're gonna go up. You see. Holo terminus located. There it is. Oh wait. I escaped, Traveler. I escaped. One moment I was running from them, the stars shifting, terrible smiles within the dark. And the next, I was here. Well, wherever here is. This new world has a sun, has new life, it's beautiful. But I think anything would be beautiful after months spent in that awful place. I'm ready to get going now, though we will do what we did before, except there will be no shifting stars to stop us this time. If you bring the star chart to the nearby location, I'm sure we'll find each other soon. Artemis is aware of everything. They do not know what they that they died, that I made a choice to bind their soul with this simulated solar system. Uh, I'm going to continue the deception. I tell Artemis I will help, though much has happened since we last spoke. I tell them I am performing an urgent mission for a newly discovered traveler by the name of Null. I will assist Artemis with their star chart when I can, but it may be some time. They should attempt to find another pathway off the world if they can. Artemis' response is muted, but they do not disagree. They wish me luck and terminate the communication. Okay, I kept hitting the ground while I was doing all that. Okay, this is the approximate location. There it is. Oops, what did I hit? There we go. I 
think the uh, Sentinel's constantly trying to scan me even on the inside here. I'll take that, thank you. I did not need it. It said health at maximum, but then it's not, is it? So, well, okay, here we go. Let's see what we have in He was trying to scan the ladder. I don't know what that was about. I don't think I've ever seen a sentinel doing that. Well, the terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter. Designed to facilitate holographic communications. Speak to Null. What did you find out there? Tell me everything. I tell Null of the freighter and its recordings. How it spoke of a world where the Sentinels illuminated all life, leaving only a traveler and a single Corvax entity. I chose my words with care. You think you do not know that this that who that Corvax entity is? You think I do not know who that Corvax entity is? Do not be so naive, traveler. Do you think anything you have read is a surprise to me? But I had to be sure of what I suspected. I know it now. The Atlas is with you. You could not see the things if it did not wish it. That freighter was a wreck from a parallel universe. There are countless such places within our multiverse. Dimensions where things happen differently. But there are three exceptions to this. The Atlas is omnipresent in all. A singular being with a singular perception. The Sentinels move between dimensions at will. They served the Atlas once. They were guardians of reality, defenders of civilization. They hunted for errors within the universes, preventing destruction and loss of life. Annihilation recorded in that log. Well, something must have been quite wrong for them to do a thing like that. The Atlas created all life, and the Sentinels defended it, searching for anomalies within that creation that they annihilated an entire universe. Well, something must have been d quite wrong for them to do. Okay, you already said that. After a time, the Sentinels ended their service to the Atlas. It was the travelers who corrupted existence. Our arrival was meant to herald a glorious age, but we made a terrible mistake. I committed an act beyond forgiveness, and from this deed, paradise was lost. But something is different in this cycle. The walls between universes, they grow thin. Nana knows this, but they keep their head in the sand. We must learn what we can from each species before we decide what to do. Visit a Viking cartographer and speak with him. I will translate. A Viking photographer. Okay. That's very specific. Where's my ship? a Viking photographer or cartographer. I said photographer. <laughs> photographer, cartographer, same difference, right? They all take photographs. Incoming message, trade Oh, I don't want to do that. Get out of here. Did I attack him? I was trying to destroy the asteroid. Oh yeah, I did attack him. Wow, I didn't know you could attack him. 
dick. Wow. Okay. That's the first time I think I've ever attacked a traitor. If I'd have known that, I'd have done that during the expedition when I kept on doing these summers. Okay. Share the news of Noel's plan with Nada. Some the okay. Wait a minute. Did I go to a new I don't think I did. There's yeah, there it is right there. Just go there. Probably some of it. It's easier for me to just go to it. Um I guess it's easier for me to summon it, but I hate just popping it in everywhere. Well, maybe it's an immersion thing for me, you know. Just knowing that you 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 can do, you know, just call it wherever you are, even though you're, you're just being a little bit lazy and you're calling it inside the 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 uh, star system. Um, you know, it kind of loses the immersion factor of that it's actually a a space station that can be teleport within different realities and different universes and everything, different dimensions. Um, you know, just kind of, I, I feel like I lose some immersion when I just say, well, I want you on this side of the planet now. You, you know? Alright, let's run. I forgot I don't use uh, health when I run inside the anomaly. Well, I gotta talk to Nada first. Viking entities have long history, conflict, honor, rage, pride, and yet so static, defined by themselves, never changing. Nada waits as if expecting me to ask something else. Missing entity is not as missing as they believe. Nada is not traveler entity, but Nada is not young and foolish. Missing entity has their beliefs, their project, so be it. Okay. Missing friend. Yes, you do their business. Help if you must, but always discover for yourself. Think about what you do. Do not just follow instructions from your eyes, with your eyes not open. Alrighty then. So. Um. Didn't I just do this? Do I need to keep talking to him? Missing entity is welcome in our home, but they do not desire it. So it goes. Huh. Alright. Let's go back to this one, I guess. Alright. I am in a gex system, I do believe. I'm going to find out in a moment. So I need to find a, a Corvac, I mean a Viking system. And once we talk to the Viking cartographer, I think that's going to be kind of the end of our episode. Um, because we are getting close to... never find the right button when I need to. Okay, here we go. Here we go. That was easy enough. It was just one jump away. But yeah, we're coming up on our 45 minute mark. And like I say, that's what I try to shoot for. 
the scout more than ten times. King Progress Warriors Ra The Ugia Transmission is fused with static alien speech garble. One thing is unmistakable life form is in great distress. The broadcast contains a set of coordinates. Oh, I think this is a Distressed, uh, yeah, planning and distress, distressed. Well, I'm not interested in doing that right now because it is so ongoing. And besides, I'm looking to get through the Atlas Path. I'm not actually wanting to to start a, a home base and all that. I guess. Let's go get our, uh, before we forget, let's get our exosuit upgrade, because I didn't think to look at the last one to even see if we had got one. photographer uh, cartographer I keep wanting to call him a photographer what the heck yeah he's gonna take my picture I'm trying to look for a Viking to take my picture <laughs> just just in case I forget what I look like oh my hey watch where you're flying that thing I'm walking here <laughs> Gra the Viking with the okay crow Viking as the warrior begins their bark I feel a strange frequency vibrate through my skull I see a flash of Null's growing or glowing orb behind my eyes suddenly the Viking's words ring clear in my ears Ra pathetic interloper prying into Viking secrets cowardly spy. I should kill. Rah! But traveler must be aided. Such is command of Herc. Prove yourself interloper. Return, retrieve the words of Herc. Ascend in Viking glory. Then you shall have your words. I will reveal only this. Location of Herc's command is marked for you. Commune with their words. Rah! All right, so we're going to commune with Herc. And I think Herc is basically the Viking word for Atlas. The Atlas. Um, and let's go ahead and change this before I do this. Because select a Viking artifact from an ancient ruin. Photographer's mark. Okay. Well, I have. Uh, there you go. I have a Viking dagger right there, so that that way I'll be able to to. Uh, I keep climbing in the ship and saving it. Sorry, I'm reloading the save every time. We're resaving every time. So that is this episode. Um, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please do the YouTube thing, like, share, and subscribe, comment, give me some feedback. I hope you enjoyed it. And we are going to sign off. This is Fire Night 13. Wishing you all Godspeed. We'll see you next time.